folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play another game of X-Wing. Now, um, we don't have a lot of time to play today, so it's just going to be a simple 1v1. I'll be playing as the Imperials, he'll be playing as the uh, Rebel Fleet. So with that said, let's take a quick look at what ships we picked and what upgrade cards go with them. Okay, over here on the left, we have Vinny's pick. It's a Y-Wing, piloted by Horton Salmons, his favorite. R2-D2, blaster turret, shield upgrade, fletchet torpedoes. That comes to 39 points. Over here on the right is my pick, Echo, which is a TIE Phantom. Sty Stygium particle accelerator, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Fire control system, rebel captive, and predator upgrade. All of that comes to 40 points. Okay, just a few things to note before we get started. I do not have a dedicated video camera, so the lighting and coloring may be off at times. Um, also, we play to have fun. Uh, we try to get the rules right 100% of the time, but uh, on occasion we do get some stuff wrong. Not a big deal, I'm not worried about it. As long as we're having fun, that's all that really matters. So if you tend to get mad um, at people playing games incorrectly, then uh, these videos are probably not for you. So with that said, keep the um, angry and nasty comments away and to yourself, and um, any friendly comments are, of course, welcome. All right, so um, we went ahead and planned out our moves already. So this is the activation phase, starting with me. I have a pilot skill of six over here. Yours is an eight. So I'm going to go ahead and reveal mine. It's a two slight turn this way. And I will take the cloak action. And what did you have? Three straight maneuvers. Three straight. And what action would you like to take with yours? Probably a focus token. Focus. Because I got the glass of dirt. Okay. All right, focus action. All right, now we're not in range to do any sort of combat, so we'll just skip that phase, and then uh, skip to the cloak token stays for the end phase, and then focus goes away, and we'll move back onto the planning phase again. Okay, on to the activation phase, starting with me. I will decloak. Now, because of Echo's ability, I'm going to use this particular template as opposed to the straight template. I'm going to go ahead and go this way. Okay, and then I get to reveal, which is a two slight turn this way. So it's the same thing. And for my action, I will take... Well, my normal thought was to do a barrel roll to move out of the way of his firing arc, but he's, he's going to have a blast. He has a blaster turret anyway, so that covers a 360 firing, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, you know, I'll go ahead and take the take the focus action. Now, because I decloaked, the Stygium Particle Accelerator says when you either decloak or perform a cloak action, you may perform a free evade action. So I also get a free evade token on top of that. Alright, so now you get to go. Three Wait, straight ahead. Three straight ahead, alright. All right, and you're moving up there. I'll do a target lock. Are you in range for target lock? Probably. Range three. Okay. Like, what would you use the target lock at? Target lock. Q, Q. All right, so that concludes movement, and now we're going to move on to combat. All right, combat phase, starting with you. You have the higher pilot skill. Um, what are you going to do? I'll use the Fletcher Torpedoes. Fletcher Torpedoes. You have to spend your target lock to yes. do that? Okay. And the ability says, after you perform this attack, the defender receives one distress token. If the hull value is four lower. Okay. Um, after you perform this attack, the defender receives one stress token. Okay. If its hull value is four or lower. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's do your attack first. It says after the attack. So... When attacking at range 2 and 3, you may reroll any of your blank results. Now, I do have this Rebel Captive upgrade, which says, Once per round, the first ship that declares you as the target of an attack immediately receives one stress token. So I'm going to give that to you now. And you're going to roll three attack dice for your Fletchet yeah, Torpedoes. I do have this range at 2 and 3. You may roll any blank results. Okay. I Is, want to. You've got two hits and a focus. Okay, so you can't re-roll anything because Horton Sum's ability says you can re-roll, what is it, blank results? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and roll my defense die. I have um, two defense die at range three because that's a secondary weapon. I don't get an extra one. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and roll two of these. I've got one evade, and I've also got um, an evade token. So two hits, two evades, no damage. However, um, because my haul value is lower than four per his Fletcher Torpedo card, I do also receive a stress token. All right, so now I get to counterattack. Let's put this away right here. Um, I've got a focus still. So let's go ahead. I've got four attack dice at range three. Um, I'm attacking with a primary weapon, so you get an extra agility on top of that. Now, I do have the Predator ability. When attacking, you may reroll one attack die. If the Defender's Pilot skill is value two or lower, which it's not, so I'm not going to bother that. Uh, so I get to reroll one attack die with this. So let's go ahead and do that, and let me reroll what I want to reroll here. Actually, I'm not going to reroll anything. I've got three hits here, and I've got a focus. I will spend my focus token to turn that into a hit. So I've got four hits at range three. You've got two blanks, so you take four hits. First thing I have four shields. You've got four shields, so you, right now you have no shields left. What's your hull value? Five. Five, so yeah, you've got a way to go yet. All right, so let's clean up um, the stress tokens stay. All right, so now we move on to the planning phase. Now before we move on to the next phase, I forgot about my fire control system. Let's go ahead and resolve that one. Um, after you perform an attack, you may acquire a target lock on the defender. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, S. Alright, so here's an S and here's an S. Okay, back on to the planning phase. Okay, on to the activation phase, starting with me. Uh, the stress token is really hurting me here. I can't do any cloaking or anything like that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, go two straight ahead to remove the stress token. Hopefully I can cloak on a future turn if I don't get blown up this turn. Um, now that removes the stress token and for my action I will go ahead and take a... Um, hmm. You know what? I will take an evade token. Um, so now you get to go. Two straight ahead. Two straight ahead. So we are at close range here. Guess what? That removes my stress token and I recover one shield. You back. recover one shield due to R2-D2 special ability. And what, uh, what action would you like to take? Focus. Focus. He's one of my favorite characters. He is. My favorite astromech in the world. There you go. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Alright, so on to the combat phase. Okay, so combat phase. Let's go ahead and move this down here so the camera can see it. Yeah, you can. Okay, so... You get to attack me first. Now, what are you going to use? Blaster turret. Blaster turret at range. It doesn't matter. Because one or two. One or two. Okay. So you get to roll three attack dice. Now, is there any other stipulations with it? No, but I did use. I can use my ability. Wait, is that range one or? Let's see what range. Two we're and three. At. Well, we're at range one. Darn it. So That's Horton Song's turn. ability doesn't work. That's so it's up. just going to be three okay. attack dice. Is that it? Yeah. Oh my. So you've got two hits and a critical there. I get. I don't have that heavy laser cannon. Uh huh. Turn that into a regular. So I get two defense die plus I've got my evade. So hopefully something comes out of this. Um, I've got a focus and a blank. I do have an evade, so I take two hits. Two shields. So two shields are gone. I am now shieldless. You I will, almost got blown up in that. I will return fire with my primary weapon at range one. Um, one defense die, and you get four. Defense. Five attack dice. Alright, so I get five attack dice at range one. Yeah, I would... And I have a target lock, so let me resolve that first. And um, you got your... You forgot to give me I've a stress got token. A stress token for what? Oh, for the captive ability. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you got predator. So. Alright, so let me go wow. ahead and... Yeah, let me go ahead and resolve all of this. Alright, so... Uh, well, I will I mean... spend... Actually, let me do my... Hmm... Do I want to do my target lock first? Or my, I'll do my target lock first. Just in case if you get hit, you can... Alright, now I've got five you hits, so I don't even need to worry about the Predator upgrade. So let's go ahead and... You get one defense die. It's an evade. So you take four hits. So you take one shield gone and then three face-down damage cards. You've got two... You've got two hull left there. And um, at, after performing an attack, this is the fire control systems, you may acquire a target lock on the defender. But you might not be in range. So I will go ahead and reacquire this target lock here. You've got a stress token for captive, so we're, we're square there. Okay, on to the uh, planning phase.
Okay, on to the uh, activation phase starting with me. I will do a 4K turn. That is a stressful maneuver. Um, huh. Let me see about... You do get a stress token, so you cannot cloak. I know. Hey, we might be in range 1. Or 2. We'll see. <laughs> Okay. Um, so I get a stress token with that. Um, this stays with you, this stays with me. I get a stress token for doing that. Um, and now you get to move. You're going to move one straight ahead. Which is a great maneuver, which I can use my focus. I get a focus token and one shield for defense. Alright, so focus token, one shield. shield. So you got that. Uh, focus. I think no we should more just stress. move on. Because one of us is being destroyed. Well, let me see if there's anything else here. <laughs> um, <laughs> really? Alright, so target lock say you've got to focus for your action. Okay. And I think we're good there. Sir, my turn now. Okay. I think we just move on. Alright, so it's... All right. One of us is being destroyed. Okay. Um, on to the combat phase. You have the higher pilot skill. You are at range two. two. Yes! So you are going to spend my focus. Use the blaster turret. Blaster my turret. ability is on. I can roll any blank, any number of my blanks. I can keep reroll on. Okay. You've got a hit and a critical and a hit. So you've got two hits and a critical there. Um, I'm going to roll an evade and a focus. So I take a hit and a critical. So I that destroy actually me. destroys my tie phantom. Good game. Good. And there you have it, another quick video for you. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, that blaster turret, I'm not liking it. Uh, apparently it is an anti-tie phantom weapon. Um, my goal here was to try and stay at range 3. The blaster turret is only at range 1 to 2, but um, unfortunately I miscalculated the K turn. He only moved one straight ahead with his Y wing, so I was hoping to stay out of range, but not going to happen. The other alternative, I guess, was I guess I could have moved off to the side, possibly. Uh, but the downside to doing that is that he had the R2-D2 card, and while I spent time coming around trying to come at him again, he could have recharged his shield. So, um, he had plenty of hit points, um, I think he had like 8 compared to my 4, and on top of that he had a 360 degree firing arc. So, it looks like the Y-Wings um, with a Ion or Blaster turret, um, or any, possibly the Millennium Falcon, anything with a 360 degree firing arc, will help to offset the TIE Phantom's ability to move anywhere they want to. Um, so yeah, it's a very interesting game, and he did very well. So you can check out my full review at uh, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. You can also check out uh, the links in the below description that will take you there as well. If you haven't already, subscribed to my YouTube channel. This is Vince and Benny Jr. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.